Let's transform into Ice Spice, which I've always wanted to do, and Halloween was the perfect excuse, and if you follow me on Instagram, you already know I went as her and Harrison went as Ice Spice's iconic chain, and it took him forever to get those rhinestones on. But back to me, I'm starting by doing a braid down before I put on the wig so I can get my hair to lay as flat as possible, and I parted my hair in the middle, and I'm taking one inch wide sections at a time to do a cornrow slash French braid, Quick question, how thin does the braid have to be before a French braid turns into a cornrow? Because I don't want to say the wrong thing and then be cancelled in the hair community for inaccuracy. But either way, these don't have to be perfect. The goal is just to get your hair to lay as flat as possible. And I didn't even bother looking at the back of my head. I just did them and they were good enough. Here's the wig I bought. It's a 24 inch ginger wig from a brand called QVR. And it came with a bald cap, a bag, a melting headband, and an edges brush. Now you need to gather your small bobby pins and put the bottoms of the braids between the rows as much as you can or just as flat as possible if it's too long to lay between the row. And I had to do some kind of crisscrossing just because they were too long to be in between the rows, but that's okay. I'm using the edges brush that came with the wig and some gel to slick back my edges. Then I'm putting on a bald cap and pulling it nice and tight, then spraying it into place with my got to be free spray all along my hairline and waiting for it to dry. Then I'm cutting out ear holes and using a blow dryer to get it to fully dry before I do a second round of spray. Then I'm going in with my little scissors to cut off the extra. Then it's time to put on the wig to check the placement and I'm dotting glue all along my hairline in front of the bald cap and smoothing it out with the back of a rat tail comb to make it even, blow drying it until it's clear, then doing another layer on top and spreading that out and blow drying again until it's clear and tacky. Now it's time to line up the hairline with the glue and press it into place, and I'm using my edges headband to help it adhere. I'm using the Color Wow Pop and Lock High Gloss Finish for frizz control, but mostly as a heat protectant. And then the Color Dream Coat Spray to help make my hair humidity proof, and technically this is supposed to be sprayed on towel dried hair, but I didn't feel like adding an extra step, so it's heat activated anyways, and the straightener will do that for me. I'm starting with the bottom sections of my hair and using the chase method with a fine tooth comb to make sure all of the hair comes out perfectly straight and doesn't get tangled. And originally I was just doing a single pass because I wanted to keep the hair as healthy as possible, but eventually I decided that with the products I was using it would be okay to do two passes, especially because one of these is a spray and it's like very slightly damp, but not damp enough for me to want to blow dry it, so I ended up just switching over and doing two passes with a flat iron on each section, working my way from the bottom of my hair up to the top, making sure to add product on each section every time I took a chunk of hair down. Once I finished straightening it, I took down the headband and went in with the hot comb to really make sure that the wig laid flat on my head, which is what makes it look way more realistic. And then I cut some slits into the lace so it would be easier to go in with my razor and do a zigzag to cut it off and make it look more realistic and blended. Then I started plucking the hairline to make sure that looked more realistic and eventually I did switch to using little scissors to get the rest of the lace off because the angle is hard and then more plucking on the hairline because it was a pretty dense one and then I'm going in with some spray to melt the lace and make sure that all of the edges are laying flat and I'm pressing it in with my finger and with the comb and then going in with some edge control to figure out the shape of my edges before cutting them and then making it even on both sides and the edge control wasn't really enough to hold it in place so after laying the shape I used the freeze spray to really hold it down and I lost my wax stick just in time to not have it when I needed it, so I used some of the edge control in its place to lay down the top and keep flyaways down, then went in and cut off the extra length on my edges, and now it's time for makeup. She has really simple makeup and usually just perfect foundation that's kind of a flat shade, so I went in and I did my foundation and tapped a little extra onto the lace, then I did my highlight with concealer but nothing crazy, and her brows are filled in, but nothing dramatic, so I just did a very simple brow. And she always wears a pop of light eyeshadow on her lids, so I did that, and then a little bit of a highlight on my inner corner. And her eye contour is like the inside of her eye connecting to the bridge of her nose, so I did that, and then went in with white eyeliner on the waterline and a simple black wing on top. Here's where I went wrong. The lashes I chose were a little too dramatic, and it was kind of giving more Nicki Minaj than Ice Spice, so... I did mascara the next day instead and it was much better. 
Anyways, I went in with a coral lipstick and a coral brown gloss to match the makeup in the photo. And then I set everything because her face is always super matte. Then I hit it with some setting spray and fanned it dry. Then I did the tiniest bit of contour just on the outer edges of her face. And after that, I did one more pass with a hot comb for final touches. And that's the hair and makeup. For the outfit, I just did my best to build the fit that she was wearing out of pieces I had and other pieces I found online. And that's how to be Ice Spice.